Meanwhile, the paramedics established two large bore venous excesses and started mistering 1000 ml of full electrolyte solution. The physician arrives at the scene about 10 minutes later and initially confirms the suspicion of acute sepsis. While the paramedics continue to prepare the upcoming transport, the physician decides to perform a P-POCUS assessment on Maria with a handheld device, particularly to evaluate her need for further fluids in the sepsis treatment. But when placing the ultrasound probe on Maria's chest, he is surprised to see that her lungs show no consolidation or pleural effusion typically seen in pneumonia. Instead, the picture shows several beelines across all lung areas, indicating fluid-filled lungs. Initially suspecting severe pneumonia, the team revises their suspicion and decides to perform a brief assessment of the heart. And the finding is clear. The team observes significantly reduced left ventricular function in combination with a dilated and congested vena cava. In conjunction with the clinical findings, it is apparent that Maria's main problem is not her lungs. Maria, rather, is in a state of cardiogenic shock. This radically changes the treatment plan. Fluid administration is immediately stopped and instead therapy with heart strengthening catecholamines is started. As the situation begins to stabilize, transport to cardiology intensive care unit is initiated and proceeds smoothly. After five days, Maria recovers enough from her severe myocarditis to be transferred to a regular ward. So let's go back to the studio to draw a conclusion.